Okay, here's the uh, startup procedure for this Windows computer. For some reason, it's a little different. Uh, power's already to the monitor and to the computer. You just press the button, which is normal. You can see flickering lights on both the CD drives. And uh, this was a server computer, so I don't know if it starts up different because of that. But uh, anyway, you see Dell, big deal. Um, but in a second here, it's going to actually put a display screen up. Oh, well, now it's starting up like normal, maybe. Uh, but half the time what it will do is I'll actually, uh, instead of going to the welcome screen immediately when you first put the power to it, uh, then it actually goes to a, uh, um, a uh, command prompt screen. All you do for that is you press the delete button right here, and once you get the delete button, and then uh, it'll uh, send you to a black and white screen that's an old setup screen, and then once you get to the setup screen, you uh, use your arrow keys to go all the way over to the uh, escape and then you press OK like you're exiting it uh, without saving and then it starts up to this. So anyway, once you're in here, you know, go to start uh, down there and start. Uh, go to programs, all programs and Omron one's the only one that's different and just go to support software. So we're starting that up. Okay, so you see the little Omron thing. And then uh, say load program from files, say OK. And then uh, traffic cop half second delay. This is the you know one I told you about where I'm, uh, I have a delay. And the if you go down the program a little bit, it's the one that is the uh, I2 sensor. And let's see, where did that go? Oh, right there. Okay, so I2 sensors down here, and you see I actually have it setting three uh, sensors. One's a, a jam sensor, and then these, uh, all the sensors are, first one is the on delay, second one is the off delay. And uh, you don't care about this right here. That just says to start the timers uh, for the sensors. Then what you do care about right here is where it interprets it. So um, this is the uh, on delay and then off delay. On delay has a... Uh, normally close contact. So what we're going to do is go in here and uh, uh, just uh, right click and say edit. And right here is the part that really matters on here. These timers have all sorts of different uh, options and stuff on there. If you mess them up, I guess we'll reload the program. But uh, this is where it used to say one here, so one second and zero zero um, uh, tenths of milliseconds. So it's one one hundredths of a second. and uh, uh, anyway, so then we just change that to 50, so that's half a second, and then say OK. And that's our on delay. That's the probably the only sensor that you'll ever need to actually uh, change. So let's uh, go ahead and get that into the um, get it into the uh, programmable controller here. So we're going to open this up. If you notice, all lights are off. You do not do this when uh, you know you do not plug in the cord when any power at all is to this. So. What we're going to do is take our Omron uh, Zen C1F01 cable, the world's most expensive serial cable at 120 bucks or whatever. So here it is. This is the Omron cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug this part in to this right here. So you take a screwdriver or something and pocket knife and get open to this right here and just pull that off put it off to the side you know in here somewhere where you're going to get to it and then right in there is the uh, little mini questionable Omron plug goes to this line it up and make sure that thing is totally lined up when you get it in there and then you just snap it in there and it's good okay so and then uh, Make sure you're not ripping it out, uh, getting this cable, which is sometimes a little cumbersome, out of here. And here we go. Okay, so now we got the cable. And so here is the standard serial DB9. So, and where we're going to go is the DB9 back here. Make sure it's lined up the right way. And we're just going to put it in there. Okay, so right now that is the DB9. COM port that we needed for this uh, old computer for. So now nothing's powered up, but we are going to power it up. So we are going to turn this on and hopefully we get a red switch or a red light. Yay. 
And if you look there, that the uh, thing starts in a start screen like this. Okay, run. If you want to get to the main um, screen, uh, and this run thing is very important because it tells you how many sensors sense something. So if you look, I'm going to put the I2 sensor. So you see the third button already there. So just me putting my hand in the way actually says that the sensors are working. And then uh, the Q, that's the outputs, and it says that uh, Q5, which is um, actually Q4, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right here, which is our red light right there, is on. That's what the black dot means. So that's all correct. It's actually already in Roan mode. So with that, we're going to press the Escape key, and that gives you the main system screen if you want it. I mean, you don't need it to run it, but uh, um, there it is. So... Okay, so right now we got the serial port hooked up to that, and this is hooked up okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to move over to uh, Zen, and then say uh, go online. Just kind of weird, you're not really going online. Saying about to connect to Zen. Do you wish to continue? You say okay. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do, okay, oops, failed to connect. Oh, I don't know why that is. Why did that fail to connect? Oh, I think maybe it wants to be in the main screen. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is say escape and uh, go to the main screen and say OK. And then instead of monitor, we're going to actually go into stop mode. So it's running the program. I think that's why it has a problem. So we're going to say OK to stop. So OK to stop means everything went uh, dark, but... Uh, then it has program run and all that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the program. So we're going to go up to program, say OK. Then we're going to go down arrow to delete program, say OK. And then it wants another yes. So we now, if you go to edit program, uh, say edit program, yes. And it says zero, zero on there. It means there's no program in there. You do that and you don't have a program. You're going to need a computer to hook it back up. So... Anyway, let's go escape uh, and uh, make sure that thing's deleted. Didn't try and create a new one. Okay. Um, okay, and then once we did that, we go to escape to get out of there. And we're just going to leave it into program right now. So now we are going to go back to here. And now we will try and hook up to it because it must not like the fact that we were already running the program. So about to connect, yep. And it doesn't do anything, which is very misleading because you're like, what on earth? They didn't do a very good job on the software doing that. So then we're gonna go to here, back here and say, um, uh, to, 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 to monitor transfer, transfer to Zen. So the transfer to Zen is actually all we care about and say, uh, about to download program, say OK. So it's transferring the program, we hope. And it doesn't even give you a thing that says, hey, this is successful, let's look and see what it is. You can actually use the software to monitor it to it, but I don't care to do that. So let's go back here, and uh, it says program, and nothing looks like it changed. You go down, um, go back up to the program, say OK. And then we're going to say edit program just to verify something is actually in there. And go down and say yes. And what do you know? Now we have a program. And believe it or not, you can actually program it on here. But it's a whole lot easier if you got the software to do it. So we're just going to say escape. And then say escape again. Then we're going to go down. And we're going to say run. And that red light should show up. Okay, so press OK. And our program's running again. And to verify it, just press escape. And escape again, traffic cop program. So now we got a program back in there. And now it has a one half second delay. So it's only gonna, once the box is sensed here, which is somewhere in the diagonal here, it's only going to go about six inches more. So all the small boxes should stop and still be on there. Large boxes uh, will still transfer because they're still more than 30 inches apart uh, with it. So I think we're good. So. Anyway, that's how you add a program to here. And another thing to remember is that uh, while the power is on here, you do not under you know you do not take the serial port off, so uh, or a serial plug off. So let's go ahead on on the side. We're going to turn that off. 
and it'll take a couple of seconds for that thing to power down all the lights to go off and everything uh, I usually wait I don't know five or six seconds and wait for this to say hey communications error occurred which is good because that means there is no power to that cable so I'm just gonna wiggle this off and do not lose this $120 cord and pull that off and that is not a connector that you can buy from anywhere else so they gotcha on this connector so do not lose this do not damage it so that's it how to get a program so now what we're going to do is go back over here everything's dark and all that we're going to turn this on and we should get a red light here in a second or two we got a red light go over here go escape Traffic cop is running, system is off. And let's put this plug in here because we don't want to damage that. So that's how do you get a program into here and that's how you edit a program. So uh, there you go.